The active learning methodologies are formed by a series of teaching and learning strategies with specific characteristics of other methodologies. The student is the protagonist of the evolution of his learning teaching evolution and the teacher has the role of the guide in the whole process. The student's previous knowledge is taken into account as a way to generate new significant learnings personalising teaching. Also, learning focuses on the development of skills, learning from a cooperative perspective and adding a practical application to the knowledge acquired. One of these methodologies is problem-based learning, or PBL. So, let's see what it is and how to do it. Problem-based learning is a strategy in which the teacher presents a problem to a group of students who need to analyse and solve it in order to achieve a certain learning objective. It allows students to acquire knowledge about the area. It also develops competences, attitudes and values. Problem-based learning allows students to acquire knowledge and make significant learning. Problems are solved in small groups of students, making collaborative work easier. It also allows the student to develop analysis and synthesis skills and therefore an implication in their own teaching and learning process. In problem-based learning, the teacher's role is to guide the student and then the student is responsible for the learning process. The teacher presents realistic problems for the students to solve, researching the necessary information using different resources and then they're guided by the teacher. The solution of the problems raised are sought working collaboratively and cooperatively. Also, in this type of learning, the problem-solving process is as valuable as the final result, allowing both teacher evaluation and student self-evaluation. The traditional teaching and learning model has multiple differences with problem-based learning. Some of them are shown in this table. In the traditional model, the learning situation and materials to be used are provided by the teacher. While in problem-based learning, the teacher presents the learning situation and the students select and generate the learning material. On the other hand, the sequence of actions to be carried out in the learning is marked by the teacher in the traditional method, while in problem-based learning, the student takes part in the creation of that sequence. In the traditional model, the work is done once the material has been presented. In the problem-based learning, the work is done before presenting the material to be learned. In the traditional model, the teacher has the responsibility of teaching learning process. In the problem-based learning, the student has an active role in this learning process. In the traditional model, the teacher is the expert, while in problem-based learning is the guide. Regarding the evaluation, in the traditional model, the teacher evaluates the students. In the problem-based learning model, the student plays a leading role in the process through self-evaluation. Problem-based learning presents many advantages for the students. One of the most important advantages is that the students feel more motivated to learn because, apart from other things, they see a practical application of their learning and also it provides the opportunity to make great changes. It also favours the development of skills related to creative and critical thinking. Being a learning strategy that favours self-evaluation, the student can evaluate the learning process. Another relevant aspect of this type of strategy is that it makes it easier to understand and integrate new knowledge, not just content storage. The advantage of this type of tool is that it allows integration of new knowledge into real situations. This type of learning is integral because it involves the implementation of skills and problem-solving strategies that affect different areas of knowledge. The student must also develop teamwork, collaborative and cooperative skills. This will have a positive impact on their comprehensive training. Finally, 
the fact that the student has to respond to a problem implies increased self-motivation and self-esteem. Problem-based learning follows a cyclical working process that starts with presenting a problem to the students. Then, learning needs are identified and you learn the information. Finally, the problem is solved and in some cases new problems are identified, starting the work cycle all over again. There are a few steps that the teacher should follow before using an activity based on problem-based learning. The teacher must set learning objectives for the subject. The students must receive clear information about the rules and these must be respected when working together to solve the problem. Also, it's important that the teacher sets a maximum time for the activity to be solved and that the group respects this. During the session, the students must firstly identify and analyse the key aspects of the problem that the teacher has raised. Secondly, they should formulate hypotheses about the problem and specify what information they need to solve it. The teacher acts as a guide to this process, ensuring that learning objectives are met. Once the session is over, the students must establish what their learning plan will be for the following session. Firstly, they must establish what topics to study, what objectives they should cover and what tasks they will complete for the next classroom session. Also, they must establish which subjects will be studied individually and which will be studied as a group. And finally, they must indicate the functions and tasks to be performed in the next session and what support they need from the expert, in this case the teacher, to do the activity.